Hey guys, I'm James, and you're watching behind the scenes of the Speed Freaks Builder Series. For entire episodes, head over to Anthony's YouTube channel for the bowl. Last week, our good friend Mo of Mo Colors dropped off the orange and black uniform for the CX500, and I have to reiterate how vibrant this paint scheme is. So thanks again, Mo. We really appreciate it, man. If you missed that one or any of our previous episodes, you can always check out the past videos in the playlist at the end of all of our videos. And if you have been keeping up, you'll remember a few episodes back that Ant mocked up an exhaust to wrap around the CX motor while the frame was away at the powder coaters. Now that the frame is back home and has its race suit, it's time to button up the exhaust and cap it off with a muffler at the business end, or silencer, as Ant and his fellow Brits would call it. But us Yanks know that mufflers are for motorcycles and silencers are for responsible hunting. Mom, if you're watching, the season is approaching and your venison jerky does not go unappreciated. Believe it or not, choosing a muffler was a bit of a struggle. There are so many quality options in our inventory for an exhaust, like this ever popular Cone Engineering Shorty, this Universal Stainless Industrial Style GP Fatty in blue chip or dressed in black, or this sinewy, beautifully welded GP Style Curvy Gale right here. After much deliberation and a little unconstructive labeling of personal style choices, we thought the Super Trap Aluminum Muffler was the best look for a flat track racer like this one. With its brushed aluminum canister, steel core, and high-tech packing, this eventually made it to the top of our list. However, what really sold it was Super Trap's patented tunable disc technology. The Super Trap Muffler's exhaust outlet is comprised of precise gaps formed by a series of individual discs. Adding disc increases the area of exhaust outlet, in turn increasing the exhaust flow and tone while reducing back pressure. More discs shift the power band up, increasing top end power and leaning out carbureted fuel mixture. On the flip side, reducing the number of discs decreases the exhaust area outlet and reducing exhaust flow and tone while increasing back pressure. This tends to increase low end torque and rich in carb fuel mixtures. This means you can adjust your super trap to allow for differences in altitude and air temperature without upsetting delicate jetting or changing your air intake. Now if I were closing a sales deal, this is where I would definitely shut my mouth before I said too much. But I'm gonna go full Ron Popeil, cause that's not all folks! You'll never catch me smelling like patchouli, but I do have a great deal of respect for the earth and our natural resources, and these diffuser discs are also United States Forest Service approved spark arresters. Sold! Now remember, only you can prevent yourself from being a jerk and not taking basic safety precautions. So we have options everywhere. It's like trying to pick your favorite band. Okay, let's say you were in on this parts meeting. What exhaust would you have chosen? Visit DimeCityCycles.com for details and all the candidates and others and leave your picks in the comments below. Now, I know what you're thinking. We're all thinking it. How does this freaking thing sound? Don't worry, we aren't too far from firing this baby up and taking it for a spin. And trust me, you won't want to miss this Tangerine Terror roar to life for the first time. Wish it was you tearing up some dirt tracks on the CX500? Well, it can be. For as little as five bucks, you can enter to win this bike at DimeCityCycles.com or simply click the link below. Now, if it's not your turn on the karmic wheel, no big deal. We can help you build your own. It's what we do. Together, we're helping throttle cancer by giving 100% of the entry donation to the Prostate Cancer Foundation. And our goal at the start of this project was to raise $10,000. And I am completely blown away and incredibly proud to say that our extended and blended family of moto misfits around the world have demolished that goal, raising over $20,000. You guys really are making a difference, and we want to say from the bottom of our collective cockles, thank you. The positivity and support you guys have shown has been overwhelming. But the best part is, we're not even done yet. You still have until September 30th to enter to win. You guys grabbed the bike by the bars and blew through our goal, so now we're tightening our chin strap and making a push for 25K. We want this bike to go to a good home, so whip out your billfold, wallet, money clip, purse, merce, rubber band bank, or fanny pack, and make room in your garage because it could be yours. Thanks for watching. We'll see you here next week for another behind the scenes episode of the Speed Freaks Builder Series. Run your way down here to comment, like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell to get all the latest DCC YouTube content. And while you're at it, take a tour of these old videos to see what you missed. Also, be sure to visit DimeCityCycles.com. Thanks for watching.